Hey guys, it's Ryan, H and B Family Farms. Uh, we got a couple cows that are sick, so I'm on. A, we're at the Henderson County Vet Clinic, um, and I'm just gonna kind of bring y'all with us as we uh, get them checked out. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Thanks, guys. Unload them out of the trailer, get them out of the heat. I'm just gonna get a couple gates sorted so they can get back there. Uh, I'll take y'all with me as I get it unload, get them unloaded. Come on, girls. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yep, they're hydrated. Come on, let's go. Come on. Get out of here. Let's go. Easy. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's follow them back here. Close them up in this little area here. I got... Well, they're in their little area for right now. Um, I'm just going to leave them in there and close this little gate right here. And I'll kind of walk you over here. I just got a couple little uh, Thorntondales and just got a little uh, tub uh, just to push them in there so they kind of get lined up. Just an alleyway there. And they used uh, Pearson livestock equipment is who they got their uh, chute system from. And they got a hydraulic uh, squeeze chute and all that stuff like all the vets do. So anyways, we'll see y'all in a little bit, guys. Thanks. She hadn't really had anything. With it being hotter, that day they could go up a little bit. So we'll just see what. Right there. Oh yeah, that's part. Let me hold the tail. Or? If you want to. Oh, just... Well, just barely Good. Yeah. 
I'm not going to do any more. No, nope. that's no, not going to be shown, but I'm afraid that that might work very well. Good girl. Why couldn't it have done any better? She is, uh, she's going to be a country girl 1,000%. She'll be on these cows in another year. If she's trying, she got a little steer she'll feed by her hand. She'll try to stick her hand all the way down. The yeah, we, we taught her with our dogs. Yeah. She, he'll, she'll get a cracker or something and feed them. And she knows when they grab it, she's got to let go. She's going to be a bad dude. Uh, kind of harsh lung sounds on her <coughs> right side. Okay. And, uh, and, and so that can vary. You always listen to both sides in cattle because they've got a separation there. One side can be affected, the other not so much. And so there's a difference in how they sound. <coughs> so their lungs are up here right behind their shoulders? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> and, uh, so, yeah. Is that she, something I, we I should... think she needs to be treated. Okay. And... Uh, Separated for the rest of the cows for about a week. Yeah, I'd, I'd keep them separated for a week. And uh, does they do past each other like by nosing or by spit? I mean, is, it is it like contagious? Well, with a respiratory it? disease, yes. You okay. know, they rub noses uh, between the fences. Uh, See, we got neighbors were telling her 800 yards back if those cows are on the fence, it's like these cows know They will take off to the back, I'll drive back there and we'll be having a discussion. Well, I mean, all you can do, and uh, you know, they. We vaccinated these, right? Yes. Okay. No vaccinated back in uh, no, December. Have you brought new cattle in? As no, sir. As, sometimes we, we can see a little bit of respiratory stuff, even. But that was I even bought in him. some vaccinated cattle. But at least it, you know, the vaccination makes this where the symptoms are less than mm -hmm. if they maybe yeah. weren't vaccinated. We may be dealing with a more serious issue. Okay. So we'll go ahead and treat her. We're just gonna give her a shot here. Uh, And that's about a seven day antibody. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, we feed them well water. I mean, they're you're in the plane. Oh, yeah. Them I got a pond, but they, they drink low, but they drink more of the well water than anything. Mm -hmm. No, she's not. She's getting ready to put a shot in its ear. If, if you look on the other side, you can see what happened last time. I know I did that last time, and it turned into a huge blister. So the problem is it's too much. This, this is a busy brand, but you do you do want to try to get kind of a a uh, copper color. And so that should, I mean, it's probably still going to blister though, right? Because that's what happened on the other side. Odds are because you've got a lot of burn close together. Okay. 
And so there's so, nothing I can do about it. That's just going to be a hard brand to, to keep long term and to be able to visually see that because it, it's real thin and it's close together. Okay. You know, the big, the, the wider brands and a, and a wider. So they wouldn't area. go bigger. They wanted me to do three letters for, for me to go in eight inch. They said this is a six inch. Well, we'll get another person doing the next one. Same deal with that. We'll start at 40, 50, or 100. Yeah. Yeah. We we'll just have to get another brand. Yeah. Either two brands or. It was solid copper everywhere. Yeah. And it turned into that. That's what I was asking. Is there something I can put on them to keep it from blistering? But, I mean, it's cattle. I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to do that. Yeah. I mean, I, I got a head gate. I don't have real good pins. But, I mean, I, I mean, I can get them if there's something I could put on there. But no, if it's going to blister, it's going to blister. I don't think anything. I mean, you know, we're not having to hold it on there long. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's just as soon as you kind of get that copper color on there but it's not it's not a problem of holding time it's a problem of too much too close together and too thin okay okay well We just yeah. warmed them. Yeah. yeah. You about to put WD-40 on it? I'm, I'm, I'm going to try this. I know. I got some parasites. I bought some dogs. My mom saw these uh, brown Dalmatians. You can look like them. Yeah. Yeah. And they had these little brown things on them. And they were on the market. They were like 30 bucks. I said, I don't want them. Yeah. And I got them for about 30 bucks. Yeah. And I bought them for about 30 bucks. Yeah. And I bought them for about 30 bucks. Yeah. And I bought them for about 30 bucks. Yeah. And I bought them for about 30 bucks. Yeah. So what is what is that? Is that just trying to moisten it a little? Is this, this an old trick you learned over the years? Well, it doesn't always work. I've seen I see. I asked her to shave them this time to help, you know, put the heat. Because last time we didn't shave them, and she was wiping it, you know, multiple times. And I just trying something different. I mean, if it don't work, then we'll, I will just try it. I mean, I've. I've seen them run with people putting stuff on them as well, but we'll try. So this is something while it's fresh, you just put something. Yeah, so this is a little bit of oil there to kind of, uh, you know, kind of soothes that and maybe helps that, that that skin stay with some moisture in it. Okay. Yeah, it was horrible. I'm the only Yeah, my daughter had something to eat No, she, I, I didn't even see what she weighed. No, ma'am. Okay. Well, we going to put her back through or? Okay. I'll check her. I'll check her. I'm 
I've never seen anything like this. I'm 47 years old. I've been saying nonstop the last three days to call my daughter. She said, This is ridiculous. I know you all got grandbabies. I'm not doing it. I'm just still working. If I don't see it, I see it. I think there's certainly reasons, probably, people that people are away from all this. Yeah, there's some reasons. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not mask. I got spray bleach for my steering wheel. I got hand sanitizer. Pretty copper. Oh, that looks good. On the on the right side, <clears throat> maybe both sides. I don't know. She got some liquid, don't she? <laughs> Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna treat her the same way. Does she have it she, on the... Yeah, she, she's kind of on both sides. I like that. Okay. So, uh, we'll give her a seat as well. Okay. That's what I'm doing.